Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Uh, Taurus, please like, 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 comment, comment, comment how this resonates with you, okay? Hopefully it does. This week uh, for you, it might be about the release. The release of maybe someone you have a child with or some, or you're releasing one of your children you just feel like you need to call in um, help um, you just really putting it into the divine's hands you feel like you just can't cope with it or not even cope but you, can, you feel like you can't contend with maybe one of your children or a particular person anymore um it's time to just move on from it and just kind of release it here and that could be relationship that could be someone you have a kid with you or with your children or something about some how you mother or your motherly energy here uh, about your home about your stability here you are um you're definitely trying to, uh, well, not even trying. You are just really done with it. Um, it has been the energy that you have been wanting to put into this has been dying. Not, excuse me, the energy you have been putting into this situation, into this relationship, whatever it may be, it's been dying. Like, you, you care less and less. Um, it could have something to do with home. You putting someone out of your home or, um, yeah, yeah, children, someone else, an adult. There's an ending, but then there's a new beginning for you, okay? Um, the situation is the Knight of Air and the Queen of Earth. Yeah, you're concerned about your stability, your home, your children, um, how to make a better home more peace in your home um, just more grounded energy you're, you're too you're dealing with too much of this uh, someone who is combative in and out um, they're, they're intelligent um, but um, and they mean well this could be a younger person or an immature person they mean well but they're very immature okay um, this could be with you and a child. You may be laying down the law with them. But there's a lot. You're just tired, tireless. This person never gets tired of um, arguing or just causing strife. You feel like you need to make time for things that you would have made time for. Maybe even business deals. Or the challenge that that rests here in regards to what's going on with you. Is somebody else outside of your energy outside of you is causing havoc confusion um, just downright chaos it could be one of your children or a child it can be someone in your home it can be someone you have a child or children with um, some of you got news about your baby's mother something's going on so there it could have been an actual death in the family um yeah so what's the advice for you the ten of earth and the six of fire wow very nice some of you also going to change careers you feel like this is best for you um this if that if tra changing careers is what you're concerned about what you feel like you should be doing um Look, the Ten of Earth, it says that this is your life long work or this is your life path. Um, you're going to get recognition here. You're going to get maybe even fame or fortune here or just really fortune. You will be fortunate in this this change in, in career. Uh, the advice here is for you. Yeah, you're going to get public recognition. You're going to have victory here. You finally found something that is... Um, that marries you on a soul level and this could even be 
you thinking about marrying someone, going towards someone and, and telling them that you want them as a wife. You want longevity with them. You see them as a life partner. You can fulfill long-term goals with them. You want to marry them. You want to um, show the world how much you care about this person. Um, how valuable they are to you telling them that you're choosing them that is your advice here the outcome is wow the page of fire and the queen of fire so if this is business this says that um you're gonna match energy with somebody who's causing who's mischievous this could definitely back to children some of you are i'm hearing boarding school just out of your house you want someone out they, they're mischievous, they're devious, um, they may even be creative, they're in there outgoing, but it's all energy that is um, reserved for the negative. They take everything to the negative aspect or light. It looks like you're going to match that energy and you're going to say, you know, um, they may underestimate you, but you're going to really rise to the occasion here and put yourself first and put whatever it is you want to do first. Back to, um, this could also be a message. I think you got this last week, a message that is going to cause you to take action. It, it can be in regards to your child. It could be in regards to starting a new business. And it just puts you in a place where of expansion. And you're going to really expand on this idea if it's business. Or if you get a message about your child, you're really going to rise to the occasion and really take action here. And people are going to be surprised. Okay. Your week is phenomenal. Okay. Your week is phenomenal. Like if you have your own business, it's doing well, it's flourishing. Um, this is good for you. Let's see. What's it? What, you, what additional advice do you have for Taurus? Peaceful resolution. Yes. Some of you dealing with somebody who, back to what I said, chaos, drama, um, just negativity. It could be your child. But it, or it could be someone that was in your home or living in your home. It's going to be a peaceful resolution there. Okay. Um, additional advice for Taurus. Something's unlikely. If you feel like if you're not going to succeed or you're going to fail, that's unlikely here. Um, you're going to flourish. Wow. Be assertive. And this says assert your independence and creativity. Yeah. So for some of you, this is business. This is also going to be you rising to the occasion with someone who you kind of cowered to. You cowered down to or you just really let them, you know, have their way. But it looks like it could be, it could be anybody. It could be fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It could be air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And it could be, you have no water here. Wow. Um, it could be a Scorpio. Whomever you're dealing with, assert your authority. Okay. Um, come up with creative solutions to problems. And it looks like you will. And there's going to be a peaceful resolution. Taurus, if you feel like this resonated with you, please drop a comment below and tell me how it resonates with you. Tell other tourists who are watching this video it's so impactful and it's so um it's kind of humbling to see you see other tourists people write almost their same or similar uh situations that they're going through um so you, you never feel alone in this you know but if you feel like this resonates with you go um go ahead and go over to the website book your own reading there so you can gain clarity or um, just drop a comment below and tell me how this works for you or how it, um, it resonated for you. You can always take advantage of the one question, one answer. Send an email to the email address below. And we get that all scheduled for you. Well, it's not scheduled, but we'll get the question answered for you within two hours. Okay. 
So thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you, Taurus.